Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another blog tech tips. And of course, guys, today I'm going to show you how to enable um, two step verification in WhatsApp. This is great to protect your account and prevent others from um, actually accessing and restoring your WhatsApp account. This is a great way to add an extra layer of security and it wouldn't hurt as you'd have to enter this password on doing stuff like restoring and so on under certain conditions all right so let's get straight into it now the first thing you want to do guys is just launch um whatsapp whatsapp once you launch whatsapp go ahead and go into settings click in the three dots upper right and go over to settings once you're in settings as you're seeing here just go over go over and select the first option to account and there you see the option for two-step verification go ahead and tap two-step verification and of course if you look on screen right now You'll see that there's a bunch of options. Go ahead and hit enable. And just it says to add security, enable two-step two verification, which will require a pin when registering your phone number with WhatsApp again. So just go ahead and hit enable. And you're going to set a six-digit um, pin. It says that pin you can enter here. It must be a number. So just go ahead and enter said pin. And I'm just going to do this off screen. All right, now that I've um, entered the... Now that I've entered the password, you can actually see um, on the screen that we have transitioned over to the next screen. It says confirm your PIN. So I'm just going to enter my PIN again. And I'll just go ahead and enter. And once you enter your PIN, guys, it will come to the third and final screen. It says enter or add your email account, which will be used to reset your PIN if you forget it and safeguard your account, which is a great idea. As you never know, you might just forget what your PIN was. So it's going to enter my email address right here. So once my email address is entered, I'm just going to go ahead and hit next. And it says confirm it. So I'm going to confirm it right now. And there you go. I've confirmed it. So I'm just going to hit save. And just make sure that you check your work. So if you make a mistake, there might just be a letter that's off. So just double check everything. All right. So I've checked and I'm satisfied. So I'm going to hit save. And there you go. Notice it says now that um, two-step verification is enabled for my account. And I'm just going to hit done. And there you go. So you can see right now, if you wanted to, I could just back out of here. And you'll see that if I wanted to, I could just go ahead and hit a change number, like I'm switching over to a new number. And of course, just in case somebody were to access my account and try to change over, it will require the verification. All right, we're still under accounts. Likewise, if you check out here, again, if I go into two-factor verification, notice it shows that the feature is enabled. And all I got to do from here, if I wanted to, I could just disable. And of course, enter my PIN. If I wanted to, I could change the PIN from here. Or of course, if I'm changing something like the email has changed or I do not have access to that old email, I can go ahead and hit change email address as well and it will change it. Alright, so no more restoring your account without knowing the PIN. And of course, if you forget the PIN, you can be sent to your email. Also, no more changing your number in case somebody gains access to your account and tries to change the number. They'll also have to know your special six-digit PIN. And of course, I advise everybody to actually turn this feature on just to protect your account. You never know, somebody might just try to access your account and restore it on another device and lock you out. Alright, so that is how to enable... Um, two-step verification on um, any device running um, WhatsApp. All right, guys, we got a from Block Tech Tips saying bye until next time. Bye, guys.